Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James here with the next in line from Freewing. It's finally arrived, we finally did it. Alpha and the Freewing team developed this gorgeous F-22 Raptor. 90 millimeter EDF jet, we got a 59 inch length and we have a 41 and a half inch wingspan on this beautiful bird. It reminds me a little bit uh, with the fuselage being so wide reminds me a bit of the F4, but it is finally here. For all you guys who follow aviation, you know uh, the short history the F-22 has, but just what it's done to modern aviation. It basically is a fifth generation modern fighter, uh, was capable of all, is capable of some of the coolest stuff you've ever seen in aviation, and uh, it can now be yours in the skies at your RC field. So for the purpose of this video, guys, we call them builds, but it's a little bit of everything. We'll start out, we'll go over the spec of what you can expect with this F-22. Then we'll go back in time, show you an unboxing, so show you all the pieces as it comes out of the box, and then we'll take you step by step through the manual for the really quick assembly that this thing uh, has. It doesn't take long to get it together, guys. Hardly any glue at all, it's mostly screws. Then we'll go through the rates and CG, and then we'll get out of here. So let's get started with the spec on your brand new F-22 Raptor. All right, guys, the spec on the Raptor. Again, we have a 41.7 inch wingspan, 59 inches in length, a 3748-1750 KV brushless outrunner with 130 amp ESC, and that will be running a nine blade EDF. Uh, the 8S spec will do in a little bit, uh, and it's probably a separate video when we get a chance to do the flight review, but that's gonna have a beefier motor and a beefier ESC up to 150 with a 12 blade EDF. Now let's show you what's in the box. Alright guys, let's go through the parts. First, you're going to get your wing section, great nylon hinges, and you do have your ribbon cable connector. Nothing else is attached to the wings, and the uh, graphics already come included. Uh, as far as the canopy, this is a great feature of the F-22. You see here, uh, it's a big canopy. Uh, you'll see in a second when we get to the fuselage just how large it is, but the actual canopy itself does have a plastic lined cockpit like the L-39 to help with bubbling, and there's like a gold U to the uh, canopy, which is awesome. Uh, in certain sunlight, you're going to see that gold reflection, and uh, it really stands out the way the real F-22 would. As for your horizontal stabs, um, again, they're not going to have the control horns uh, attached. You're going to have to do that yourself. We'll show you when we get to that step in the manual. And they do have little slots here for the, uh, the rods that go through it. They're like spars, but they do help rotate uh, the, the stabilizers. So we'll show you that in a little bit. As for your vertical stabilizers, again, you have those beautiful graphics. Uh, these, the uh, designation for our F-22 is going to be from Langley, um, which is awesome. And then you do have your two rudder wires. Rudders are ready. Servos are going to be pre-installed. So you're just going to be attaching the rudder to the fuselage and a couple screws is going to get it done. Your nose cone, it is foam at the top part. It's gonna be attached by two strong magnets. And then the rest of it is all this nice hard plastic. So you guys that wanna you know, store it on its nose is gonna be fine. Um, and it really looks you know, nice in scale. Now let's take a look at the fuselage. This is where all the action is, guys. You can see that large battery bay and the graphic detail on it is just gorgeous. I believe there's about 12 to 15 different colors of paint and decals. And again, they're already pre-implied. Uh, you see here the MCBE unit is already installed and every wire is already plugged in to this model. So even the ribbon cables are plugged in. You're not going to have to plug anything into the MCBE, but I would just check it to make sure everything's plugged in correctly because, again, it is humans who put this together. Taking a look at the nose, here's the uh, front landing gear. There's a little cutout for the landing light and everything's in there. You do have a nose gear servo and also the servo doors. Single stage doors has a servo here through the front of the nose. Easy access. As we take a look more towards the back of the plane, you see where you're gonna be attaching your vertical stabilizers. Uh, again, very simple. It's two, two screws for each side is gonna get it done. And the landing gear is already attached to the fuselage 
uh, unlike you know other aircraft we have where the landing gear is going to be attached to the wing. Then taking a quick look at the bottom, nice big flat belly. Again, this model wants to fly, and uh, you have good intakes there. Fuselage really well done. And then on the back of it, you see the single 90 in the back. And then we're going to attach some foam pieces that come with it to finish off the tail. That's the only thing you're going to need glue for uh, later on. As for the things that come in the box as well, you got six control rods, you got your horns, your clips and clevises, all the things you'd expect with any free wing model. Here are the, uh, the rods that are going to be for the horizontal stabilizers, and we'll get to those when we get to the uh, assembly portion of the video. You have your main wing spar, fiberglass. Then you're going to get your manual, and in the manual you will have another insert for the MCBE to show you uh, just how to work that box, the multifunction control box. And then there's only actually one page of build in this assembly. It goes quick. Here are the screws, guys. So the four larger screws are going to be for your main wing, so two for each side. Then the next four screws, these are flat-bottomed, a little thinner. They are going to be for the horizontal stabilizers, and we'll show you where there's, they go in a minute. Then the four what look like wood screws are going to be for the vertical stabilizers. Then you get this set of two washers and two collars with two screws. These are going to be a part of the horizontal stabilizer assembly, and we'll get to that to show you how to work these uh, in a minute. And lastly, you get your bag of two control horns and screws. Uh, they're going to be for the horizontal stabilizers, which I showed earlier. So now it's on to the build. All right, guys, step one is going to be installing your vertical stabilizers. It's a very simple process. So on the back of the fuselage, you want to definitely find the uh, servo wire. This is where you're going to attach your vertical stab and obviously there's only one way these things can fit you want your vertical stabilizers uh, going outward with the decals facing out of course you're just going to plug that in like so make sure your polarity is correct and then you're just going to drop them in and we'll screw it in in a second and again you see here these two spots there's only one place it can fit so you just put it in there nice and snug and it's going to fit like a glove then we're going to do the other side. You're going to plug that in as well. And then we'll move on to the screwing. So you're going to take your two, uh, your two screws. They look like wood screws. They do have the pointy bottom. And they're going to go right into the two holes that you see here. And you just screw them in nice. And you'll be all done with your vertical stabilizers. Okay guys, on to step two. This is gonna be your horizontal stabilizer. So first thing you have to do is uh, attach the control horn. So it two screws are provided and it only fits one way. You'll see the ball leg facing out. So that's exactly how you wanna do it as I show you here. Just drive in your two screws and you're all done. Do it for both sides. Now obviously your horizontal stabilizer is going to attach on the back. You can easily see the hole on the back of the fuselage where it's going to go. But first, now you're going to have to use your rotating rod is what they're calling it. Uh, it's like a carbon spar, but you'll notice there's two uh, little divots or indentations. That's going to be on the outside portion of the horizontal stabilizer. So when you get that in there, it's going to look like this. Now you can see with on the horizontal stabilizer itself, I have pushed the rod all the way to the back of that foam piece. Here's where you're gonna to wanna to use that collar I showed you earlier. You're gonna bring it down a little bit and then you're just gonna place this collar over the top and I laid it down to be able to screw it in and that's gonna make sure that your stabilizer doesn't leave, uh, you know, leave, that the rod doesn't leave your stabilizer mid-flight. So that locks it on there nice and once that's done, you're gonna take your washer, you're gonna put it over the top, drop it down and lastly, you're going to take the two screws that are a little thinner than the main wing screws with the flat bottom, and they are going to secure that into place. So you want to do this for this side, then obviously flip the aircraft over and do it for the other side, and you're all done. All right, and step three is going to be installing your main wing. So first and foremost, you want to get that uh, wing spar right through the, uh, the center. Now, each wing already has a secondary spar. You see the hole on the left there. Uh, that's where that's going to go. 
I need a pair of pliers. Make sure you pull your ribbon cable out just so you have access to it because you're going to have to plug that in. So I just get it out to the point where I can grab it. And now, as any standard jet or any aircraft, you're just going to have to manipulate your wing onto the aircraft. Uh, now, we'll show you in a little bit with the landing gear. This main wing, uh, the main landing gear, the tire actually rotates. Uh, there is a little uh, roller inside the wing that helps it. You see here, it moves. So you're just going to have to move the tire up a little bit to make sure it fits, get it on there. And then once you do, plug in your ribbon cable and the wing's going to fit like a glove. And then you're just going to drive your two main wing screws into each hole and you will be good to go. So obviously when you're done with one side, flip it around to the other side and you'll be good to go with the basic assembly of this F-22 Raptor. So step four is just attaching your peripherals. The nose cone fits on with a magnet like so. So there's really no work to be done here. It just goes right over the top and it holds on nice and firm. And then this is the only spot you're gonna need some foam tack for. No glue is included, but there are three little foam pieces that help finish off the tails. You can see you have one right in the middle and then two which attach right to the back under the uh, vertical stabs. Just to finish it off, so you just wanna use a little foam, foam tack. I use the beacon foam tack because it's the best. Uh, and again, whenever you're foam tacking anything, you want to put it on pretty liberally, but you want to pull it off, wait 90 seconds before you finally reattach it. You know, let air get in, let it tighten up, and then once it's on, you'll be all done. So guys, that basically completes the assembly of the F-22. Once you're at this portion, the only thing left is going to be, obviously, binding your receiver to it and then attaching all the control rods but the basic portion of the build is now complete all right so now step five i like at this point to bind my aircraft before i attach my control rods i like to have it bound up so all the servos get centered it makes it a lot easier so you're just going to find all the wires which are already attached to your mcbe and plug them into your receiver and get this baby bound up All right, guys, at this point, you're going to attach your push rods. So we're not going to show you how to attach them. That's pretty self-explanatory, but we're just going to show you what you have. You should have eight push rods in total. You're going to have four 85 millimeter push rods. They're going to be for the elevator and the rudder. You're going to have two 76 millimeter push rods for the flaps and two 63 millimeter push rods for the ailerons. And then once they are on, you just check all your servos. I did not set up right yet, so this is just the full throws. You see you got your rudder throws, you got your horizontal stabs, full flying stabs. This thing can really move if you watch the flight review video or you've seen Alpha's flights, which we posted. Uh, this thing is awesome. Uh, obviously your aileron's moving, and then you have your flaps. All right, guys, now the next step is going to be setting up your rates. Obviously, this is different depending on what type of transmitter you use, whether you use a Spectrum, FR Sky, or anything like that. It's hard to do a video showing you each setup, so you're just going to have to go by the book. But all the rates are listed, your low and high rates. But the most important aspect here is this model does require, does want a flap to elevator mix. So it's calling for a mix of two mill millimeters of down elevator in high rates, one millimeter of down elevator in low rates, and then you also have a 5.5 millimeter neutral position. So it wants you to have a little bit of down elevator right from the start. So make sure you do that when you're setting this up. You may have to manually change the linkage uh, at this point. All right, now that the plane's all bound up, guys, let's check the landing gear. So you'll see it has a single stage door. Now, one thing you'll notice, the door sort of um, pops open when it does open. That's because we added magnets to it. Uh, for models in the past, when there weren't magnets, sometimes the door would open mid-flight, cause problems. We thought adding some magnets on the doors uh, would make it better. But you see here, you got nice landing lights. The retracts themselves, guys, are going to be top of the line, high-end free wing retracts should have no problem with landing this bird this bird reminds me a lot of the l39 in the way it lands it can land nice and slow uh for a 90 millimeter it's nice and floaty and you can see retracts are beefy and then let's show you the main retracts when they uh go down 
You'll see there is a roller in the wing, hard to show you here, but the, but the wheel sets into the manual and the wheel does move on its own like so to help do that. It's a really cool feature with the F-22. Moving over to the center of gravity, uh, depending on the battery you use, you want to be 150 millimeters back aft from where the wing meets the fuselage. So right at that corner, 150 millimeters is going to get it done. And then for this model, guys, we're going to be releasing a lot of 3D printed parts. So we're going to have a cockpit set. We're going to have an ordnance set, which is really cool. You can see here Alpha painted it up. They won't come painted for you. You'll have to do that yourself. But you could either download the file for free from us and print them out yourselves, or you'll be able to buy pre-printed parts. And then Alpha added some magnets to them to, uh, you know, just for that nice static display, the way the F-22, you know, obviously an F-22 doesn't have ordnance hanging off the side or the back. It sort of comes out of the belly so uh, we couldn't do that normally but for guys really wanting that scale effect you have it all right guys so that'll about do it for the build assembly unboxing of the free wing f-22 raptor the brand new 90 millimeter edf jet that we hope is what everyone hoped for uh, in an F-22. We love that we got the, I think Alpha did a great job getting the color scheme down. There's about 15 different coats of paint in there. I love the finish on the canopy and then all that space inside is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, you should have no problem fitting any sort of lipos in there. Again, we're recommending ours. You could either use the uh, 5000 Admiral 6S or try out the new Admiral Carbon. This is gonna be perfect uh, for your F-22. So again, guys, that'll do it for this build. Make sure to look in the link uh, in the description of this video. Find the link to the flight review video, to the product video, and any more information that we get. We always added those links back into the description on these videos. So guys, we're excited for pilots to get their hands on these. Uh, Pre-order is open now, and uh, you should be having these in about four to six weeks, and we can't wait till you all get them. So guys, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.